Hey, hey, happy Friday. I didn't realize it was already a minute and a half after nine o'clock in the morning on this awesome, awesome Aloha Friday. Welcome, I am Terry Edmonds, and if you are watching this video, you are interested in keen footwear. I am a shoe expert. Well, I guess I've been in the business long enough and I do sell Keens in my store called If The Shoe Fits. So in this video, we are gonna uh, cover their water sandals. We're also gonna talk about some great work boots and we're gonna do men's and women's. I'm gonna cover women's in the first half and men's in the second half. So if you are watching this on the replay on my YouTube channel, you can just scrub right to the center of the show and it should hit, hit in about the right spot. So. Welcome. Thanks for being here with me today. As I said, my name is Terry Edmonds. I own this shoe store in Maui called If The Shoe Fits. I specialize in footwear and I am the island's only cobbler. And somebody's trying to call. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so, uh, shoots, hold on. Okay, we're gonna start that over one more time. Aloha and welcome to my show. We are on Amazon Live today recording on this beautiful Friday from my shoe store called If The Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii. If you're watching this video, you are interested in keen footwear, including their work boots and their sandals. If you are watching this on the replay on my YouTube channel, uh, this show is about the footwear, but you're also, um, the first half of the show is gonna be about women's shoes. The second half of the show is gonna be about the men's shoes. So if you are watching the replay, you can scrub on forward uh, to the, uh, whichever section works well for you guys. So let's get going. Here we are at my shoe store called If The Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii. I am a cobbler, I do shoe repair, and I also specialize in specialty footwear. All right. Um, I also happen to do some uh, cobbling to the stars. Uh, you're looking at a picture of Mick Fleetwood there. And we have Boys to Men, and we have uh, Kalani Pea. He is a... Uh, Grammy Award winner, and so amongst all of the famous people I get to deal with, this island brings me such an awesome opportunity. So I'm glad you guys could be here with me. I've done a lot of awesome things for people with hard to fit feet. So the easiest way to find me online is if you go to my website called terryedmonds.com. On the front page, you'll see an Amazon button to click the supplies that you're looking for. It takes you to my Amazon shopping cart where I make a commission. This is what we're gonna be discussing today. And of course, as you, uh, we're covering all of these styles today. And as you click on through, you wanna be sure when you land on the final page that you are looking for the right size, the right color, the right everything, okay? So, uh, and believe me, it does happen. So look at this beautiful rainbow. We're in Maui and Maui gets a ton of rainbows. This is from my backyard, it's so gorgeous. And, this is just a little taste of, uh... oh shoot, hold on. Here and here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. Woohoo! All right, so I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend this weekend. Let's get going into the Keen footwear. All right, we're looking at this really cool men's Newport retro sandal. I actually brought this sandal in for a client of mine who was very interested in it. I sell a lot of these. Um, this happens to be one of the new uh, colors that's still available right now. And this is like this tie-dye retro look. And this, you're seeing this in the women's, so they do make it in the women's and the men's. Um, it has adjustability here. If you have never worn a Keens, um, worn a Keens, this is, uh, 
this really awesome sandal. It's got these elastic adjustable straps. They show this sandal as being a water climbing sandal, basically. And so it's really great for crossing across boulders. Um, they're showing it in their marking of material uh, at waterfalls, things like that. So it's really meant to handle water. I think it's hysterical, however, that they put waterproof on these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, yeah. Well, actually, the soles are waterproof, I guess. I hardly ever get them in for repair in my shop. But when they do come in for repair, sometimes they'll come unglued around the front of the uh, toes. And then I also have men that wear them so long that the threads actually start to wear out. So um, really, really great sandal there. Uh, I think it's, you know, the ballpark, I offer it for $130 in my store between 115 and 130. Um, I don't know why Amazon's, there's some vendors that are offering it for 208. I'm sure you can find it for a better price. Uh, 78 to 208 prices always change on Amazon, of course. And I'm just gonna turn this a little bit more. Aloha, thank you for signing in. Carol Miller, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. Okay, so let's keep moving. Uh, this was really cute, like I said, men's and women's. Now, if you're looking for this sandal and you find it, uh, grab it because Keen's inventory just goes like that. Here's another cute one. Oh my gosh, this shoe is so cute. And they called it the New Acoustic Camp something something anyway look how cute it is it's got all of these little designs on them they've got some butterflies i mean look at how cute that is let me come up a little closer with you guys so uh i mean this is so darling that you cannot it's hard to find this online so this is just i'm giving you an example that if you like some of the fun colors that you guys see um you know snag it again remember when you land on the page to amazon that you're selecting the right size this is 100% polyester. It's a synthetic sole. It's a washable polyester webbing, which is really nice. They, they're meant to last. Okay, so cute little sandal. You know, I see people in Arizona. Look at that sole. That's fun. Um, you know, a lot of people in Arizona and California, they go to the lakes during the summer and things like that. This is a great lake water boat uh, shoe. So... Uh, wonderful. They have so many different colors. Keen's probably always going to carry this shoe because it's such a good seller, but this is just another kind of a more simple color if you don't like such crazy colors. Let's see what the next one was. Oh yeah, we'll move into that. So again, this is the same one. Uh, this one I'm offering it for 110 but on Amazon, again, they're really low. I mean, Keen's just low on inventory, so uh, keep in mind that if you like it, you can always try it and return it, so keep that in mind. Easy to clean, it's got some suede. I can see the leather on here. That's all, uh, you can clean all of that with my cleaner, the or the cleaner, Easy Suede Cleaner, Lincoln Easy Suede. I really like this stuff, it's great. And that would clean up this sandal really nicely, especially that canvas material. Uh, you'd be surprised how much that will brighten right up. So cute, huh? I like it, it's got a kind of a low uh, tread sole. So I noticed on mine, uh, I'm able to wash these off, uh, get the mud out. It doesn't hold on to globs of rocks and mud. So really nice sandal. And I sell these year round. They're really great. And they do the same style. And that was called, hold on. That's the Newport. Okay, so the Newport. And they carry men's and women's and children's. Uh, this one, but we're just doing the ladies today, so, or for right now. The second half of the show is the men's. All right, so this is the other one. This is another one. Some gals really like to have something that's just a little bit dressier. I mean, it's not dressy, but, you know, it's got a little bit more style. It's not so, so big and uh, chunky on it. Uh, I'd be more inclined to wear something like this probably. And especially, I like this neutral color. Um, what I'm, sh what I picked out for you guys in the shopping carousel is between 68 and 182. Again, they probably can get those higher prices for the the real vintage stuff. You know, stuff like like these patterns that are hard to find. So this one here is called the Women's Rose, and it comes in, gosh, you know, maybe 12 different colors. You'll see that in the shopping carousel. They have all of these different colors that are offered. 
uh, the pinks and the lavenders and all of that. I, I personally at my store carry the neutrals primarily because um, that's what ladies end up going for. So this is a real nice one. You could do a day hike in this. It's got this uh, very, um, it doesn't totally come, it doesn't totally come apart here. It does have a little bit of this, uh, you know, like a, uh, that's not, it's this, um, it's like a neoprene. That's what it is. And so it's got a little bit of give so that you can get your foot in here. Um, although I have had a couple of customers, you know, need a little help trying to get into there. So uh, this does kind of restrict the ankle. Nice shoe. Uh, again, I think you could really find most of these offered for about 100 to 130. All right, and so moving on. Okay, this is my very favorite sandal. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm wearing it. <laughs> I usually have the black on with my outfit, of course, but um, I thought I'm gonna, I took a walk in my black ones this morning before the office and uh, they were all muddy and stuff. This is not so bad, but um, anyway, but I'm gonna put some new insoles in these. I love this shoe. I, like I said, I, I wear it every day for work. I run in it and it's just a really great, great shoe. It's really lightweight. Um, it has a breathable mesh lining, removable footbed. So I did take out the original footbed and I'm going to put in, I needed some new power steps. And I tell you guys that I wear them all the time. They make everything so much more comfortable. If you have a collection of shoes in your closet and you're looking to buy something else comfortable, it's because yours aren't comfortable. So pick up a power, pair of power steps. They're so affordable. I think I have them listed here for you. Um, this was me on my hike in Haleakala. I was wearing these to hike in and it's great for this kind of terrain, you know, real light. It's very sandy up there. It's actually called sliding sands. So uh, again, I'm I took out the original insole and I'm just gonna tuck these in there. And now they're gonna be perfect for me. You know, if you, if you don't try it, you don't know. And so, like I said, I really like the power steps. It's got um, dual layer cushioning, antimicrobial top fabric, provides heel stability, semi-rigid. I, I really like that because it's got a little bit of arch support, you know, um, not too much, but, and, and actually this one is the, I do the pinnacle. Full length, it's it's uh, ideal for, as they recommend on the box, they say it's great for plantar fasciitis, pronation, foot arch and heel pain, and sore and aching feet. This is the neutral arch support. And uh, the podiatrists recommend their clients for these all the time to my shop. So I really recommend if you're having any foot pain, just give it a shot. Everything's worth a try. This is the Terradora, the same shoe. This is the one I hiked in this morning. I run in this shoe, I work in this shoe, and I stand on concrete all day long. So I put in the power step. And boy, it's hard to go without them. I actually bought their power step sandal, which we cover in the spring and summer sandal video a couple weeks ago. Uh, this one is waterproof. It's a breathable membrane. It provides a waterproofing without sacrificing breathability and comfort. And I would say those are all the things that I define this shoe to feel like. Um, traction and protection. It has four millimeter multi, um, this is the shoe. Multi-dimensional, it's got anatomical flex. That's what they call that. And it has multi-directional lugs for increased traction on and off the trails. Pardon me here. And um, I would agree. As a matter of fact, my walk this morning was a, a grass and clay and the clay gets really slick. It was kind of a little drizzly. So I have never slipped in these. They're so great. I really, really like them. Again, they've got that low lug, so it doesn't get, you know, stuff doesn't get stuck in your shoes. It's not hard to clean. Support and comfort. Uh, of course, like I said, it's got the stability shank. It delivers lightweight support, uh, style and fit. Okay, for care, let's look at the care on this. Gently brush the footwear with a soft, damp sponge to remove the loose dirt and restore the surface. 
stains should be treated immediately. It is a, um, what is that fabric? Let's see, it's a uh, mesh lining and the outside, I really wanna see what the outside is. Um, it, you know, to me, it looks like a synthetic. So if I were to try to stretch this, I think I would do the, um, the heat gun that I talk about in my shoe stretching videos. Okay, so this is a really cute one. I like the little pink detailing on it. That's kind of fun. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, this, okay, this is really, really cute. This is their uh, newish, new color. It is available right now and it comes in waterproof and it is so cute. I mean, look at that. Look at that cute little sole. And you know, I personally, uh, I spend most of my hiking and outdoor activity with my, uh, my fiance. And so I wanna look kind of cute, you know? I like having the one color on my legs, so it makes my legs look a little bit longer. Um, it's so it, it's a little fashionable. And anyway, cute, really lightweight. I mean, do they say the ounces on this? Um, it doesn't, but again, I would, any the way to make these super fabulous is to put in the Power Step Orthotic, okay? They're awesome. How do they fit? Uh, these I try to buy wide whenever I can with the Keen and I I wear an eight and an, or an eight half an eight half wide really and I can do that with Keen I do have a wide foot I usually do nines in Danners and things like that but with Keen I can go exact and I try to get the wides and you can stretch them this is a synthetic so we could always put a blow dryer to some of these areas right here right so great little shoe, I love it. And the grip is amazing. I get a lot of customers that travel to like Oregon, Colorado, right now everybody's getting ready for their summer trips. And it's just such a great shoe, especially if you're not carrying a really big pack. It's a great exercising shoe. And I thought this was really cute. This is their waterproof, it's a burgundy color. And um, again, they're offering it between 103 and 140. That's really the ballpark for the pricing of these shoes. And again, it comes in the gray and the blue. I did. I don't carry it here, but they are offering something that's a little bit, just a tiny bit taller in the footbed here, lightweight. I think that would be something that I would bring in. It's called the Terradora Evo Hiking Shoe, rubber sole. Um, Anyway, just a real great alternative. So those, you, you guys are all set for some great hiking shoes, okay? Here's the power step that I was talking about. Okay, so this is fun. I told you I wear this uh, sneaker that I'm wearing right now. I wear it even when I run. And I took a run the other day. This is called Thompson Road. And at the end of this road is Oprah Winfrey's house right here on Maui. And it was such a beautiful day. I just thought I'd show you. It's about 5,000 feet, I think, the elevation, but Look at what a fantastic, fantastic day it was. Just stunning, not too much wind. It was so beautiful and you know, the, it was a, it's a little road that I'm running on. So even if I were doing a dirt trail, uh, these shoes would be really great for that. And since we can, let's say hi to Oprah's horses. Yeah, this one's my favorite, this buckskin. And he's got a rooster friend that kept hanging out with him. And then this guy was loving the grass, so I was feeding him a bit. And uh, it's so beautiful up there. It's just one of the most beautiful places. If you guys come to Maui, you'd have to come check it out, take a, take a walk. Okay, so now let's move on to some of the women's work shoes. Um, there is, <laughs> tell me I brought it. Anyway, th this is a clog. I didn't bring it over here, but it is the Canteen Clog Non-Slip Food Service a Chef Shoe. And it's got this really nice non-slip sole on the bottom. In my cobbler shop, I can always add this sole to anything that you own. I get a lot of guys that like their Nikes, and so I can put this non-slip on the bottom of their shoes. But this shoe itself comes with the non-slip and they're offering it on Amazon for between $65 to $150. It runs medium width with a low instep. So if I were smart enough and had brought that clog to demonstrate, this is your instep. And in my opinion, it runs low, shallow here. 
and it runs very medium width so and I think um, it, you can't the footbed doesn't even if you remove the original footbed you don't have enough room for the power step in it so it's an okay shoe I carry it because there are some people that have the small enough feet but definitely it's a you know great shoe if you've got a medium width foot and the price is really right I will say I think that it would last a long time too so uh, that would be a great idea for you gals that need something in the kitchen all right this is my best seller oh my gosh and it's a ladies boot and they're offering it here between 160 to 276 I can't imagine why somebody would pay that much for it because it's not that's not the price of it really I think I offer it for 150 160 in my store and it's got this uh, really nice lining it's a wide I I order mine in the wide it uh, looks like um, customers have rated this with a four star but look how cute that is I mean <clears throat> it's probably the cutest of the ladies stuff that I've really kind of found most of the stuff looks really like a guy's shoe so this comes in the six inch and then it comes in the eight inch so I'm showing it here I, I gave you both options in the um, Amazon shopping cart Seattle eight inch alloy toe so they do have the safety toe protection <clears throat> excuse me my customers that have bought this are you know girls that are working on the farm really or I have another gal that bought it that's a construction worker she does um there she and her husband have a business where they're building homes and so anyway it's got a nice low rise it's not too big on the heel see that uh this shoe can be treated with hold on I thought I brought it my very favorite shoe conditioner uh, the Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion is really great for this it's got a real wide toe box here that I like uh, that's that's nice and it's it's really lightweight for a heavy-duty shoe like this um, it's lightweight they do guarantee things like the hardware that they install on the boot and it too has this really nice soft lining it is waterproof yeah you know I, I really recommend just buying things that are waterproof because if you're out working and then your feet get wet they're wet all day so why do that so here's the inside just got it's got a nice little padding here and again in this boot you can remove the insole and put in your own sole Okay, so it's a decent insole to be honest um, it's not too it's got a lot of support even some of the arch I bet they say that here boot let's see alloy toe let's see if you have any more deets on it no okay so anyway uh, very nice you can treat these with a leather lotion like I said and they are repairable um, they're repairable but a lot of cobblers won't repair them I'm sure I do they are repairable you can find somebody somewhere who will do it so great you can do the six inch or the eight inch okay all right those are nice I even like the hardware on those all right so let's keep moving because we've got a lot to cover so we got the Seattle Romeo coming up and these are for the ladies here we are this is uh, this is a decent boot I like if I were trepsing is this waterproof um, Seattle Romeo not waterproof so you know it's an alternative I guess if you're working in a dry area it does have a bit of a lining inside so it's not just strictly leather and here you've got a nice again a pretty low lug on that all right it's is probably an, a slip resistant oil and slip resistant so um, this is a nice little nice little boot and they do offer it in another color they also this is what they're showing here is this brown which they call the oyster black that's what this is um you know it's okay it's okay um could they put pink anywhere it would be kind of nice you know <laughs> anyway i guess uh but it's all right like i probably with this i think this would look really cute with you know a pair of leggings and you know your you you, know, you could work shirt and stuff I mean I could see that so nice boot I like it um, they actually don't make this color in the men's so the men's I will show you 
looks like this. I get asked all the time if, for, by the men if they offer this, and this is what they offer for the men's. This is called the Seattle Romeo, and it's not waterproof. I find that most people can fit this though. It's got, it's nice and wide. It does have the safety toe. And again, it can be treated with an oil or a leather lotion. And this is the other women's uh, version. This is called the gingerbread. All right, let's move on to the men's now, okay? So we've covered the gals, lots of options from Keen, and uh, there, you know, more stock comes in, I think around July or August. So if you're looking for something special, that would be a good time to go look online as well. I'll put any updates on my Amazon shopping cart. Okay, so for the men, this is the best seller that I have in the store for the men. It, I charge $60 in my store. They're offering it between 43 and 92. <laughs> so um, I think 60 is well worth it. I have gentlemen that wear these day in and day out and they don't fall apart. I've never had one come back that needed to be glued. Um, it's got a nice canvas on the uh, nylon on the outside. And then on the inside, it's got like a nice padded uh, kind of a material, let's see what they say. A breathable uh, leather lining, a uh, metatomical EVA footbed, which is what's, I do like that about this. It's got some arch support in here. It's got a little bit of the heel drop in the back, which is super important for uh, lengthening the back of your calves. That it prevents a lot of stuff, so that's always good to have. And then it's got a little bit of support under the toes. I, what I really like about this boot, um, sh boot sandal overall is that it's very non-slip. Keen is very, very good about creating non-slip surfaces on the bottom of their shoes as well as the footbed. They're all about outdoor. This is from their um, outdoor line. And they're all about promoting being in the water and using these as a sports athletic shoe. So. I like it and I think it runs wide. I mean, if you're looking and what a great price point, you know? So that's really great. And I happened to snag when I, you know, I've been carrying Keen for a while. So I got this great leather color and I, you know, they're not offering it right now, but this is one of those kinds of things. If you like it, it's like something to keep your eye out. It kind of looks like a Tommy Bahama in a way, dressy, comfortable, supportive. Um, but I'm sure they'll come back with it. They also had a green, an olive green one that I just sold the last one. So, okay, here we go. This is the kids Newport. And you know, boy, I tell you, it's really great for kids that are clunky, rubbing, stubbing their toes, but they also make it in the men's size. And this is one of my best sellers right here. Uh, I sell mine for a hundred. They're offering it for 28 to 122. So about a hundred dollars. And it's so nice. I mean, really, this lasts so long. Like, I, I, every once in a while, I'll have somebody come in after years and years of wearing it, and this part comes unglued here. But typically, they wear it so much that they just wear these threads out right here. It's so bizarre. But I think this, what I find about this shoe is that it's the shoe that the men are wearing day in and day out. It is their everyday sandal. So once they're kind of in here and, you know, adjusted into the shoe, it's totally adjustable. Um, it does have the neoprene on the inside, uh, but I have helped people where we just kind of cut that if their foot's really, really wide. Um, but again, it's got that non-slip, doesn't track in a bunch of mud into the house after your little adventure. And I like the color. I think that's a very handsome color. Uh, my other best, my other seller in it, these are the two best sellers for me. I don't really like to buy the leather one, but look at that. Isn't that nice? Nice, handsome, kind of a grayish color. It's very nice. Uh, same thing, grippy. I sell a ton of them. They, they usually have this in stock and they repeat the style every season. So, and uh, awesome. Uh, the leather, they do make it in a leather, but I personally feel like if you're getting them wet all the time that you don't really want to deal with leather and getting things wet, even though they're waterproof. <laughs> that cracks me up that they put waterproof on there. Okay, so 
Uh, this was kind of a fun color. This was the, uh, what do they call this? The olive and black, but I actually kind of pulled this up just to show you all the different color options in this shoe. You know when the company gets to doing that many color options that it's a great shoe. So I really, really like that. And uh, I thought this was a nice color, the closed toe. I might get that. Okay, so what we'll take a quick quick second here before we go into the work boots for the men. In our upcoming videos, next week we're doing the, uh, it's the beauty haul. So we'll be doing makeup next week for my Amazon Live. And we're also gonna be doing a really fun one about the farm. Look at these cute cardinals. I got this great bird seed from Amazon. And uh, these are our little visitors. This is outside my office window. <laughs> so I thought that was really fun. I had to share with you guys. So I got this great bird food. We'll do a whole garden video. I'm very excited about that. All right, and then we're also doing a tech video. It's, it's actually our favorite beach supplies. And I'm using this awesome camera that I got from Amazon that was about $50 and it's a waterproof camera. Came with the waterproof case. Um, I bought the selfie stick that I'm using in this video and uh, just a really awesome camera. So we're gonna do a full review on those things. So let's go ahead and get back into the Keens and now we're gonna do some Keens men's work boots. Again, I can't emphasize enough that if you work on your feet all day long, buy yourself some power steps. It's the best gift you'll have ever given yourself. <laughs> so this is a work boot. It's, it's under their outdoor, but I sell it primarily as a work boot for men who don't need safety toe. And here it is. This is a really lightweight boot. I mean, it's just, I wish you could feel it. <laughs> it's got a lot of, it's got like a rubberized uh, protection right here. It has this um, also rubber. Let's read about it. Cause um, so this is a, uh, this is waterproof leather made in the USA. Hello, go USA. Rubber sole. It's got the Keen Dry Waterproof. It's a breathable membrane that keeps your feet dry and comfortable all day long by allowing vapor out without letting water in. All the leather is treated with a PFC free water repellent. So you still get the same protection without harmful chemicals. Uh, they've got the all terrain, Keen All Terrain Rubber Outsole. I mean, it's just a really, really great boot. And they offer it, this is the four and a half inch and I also carry it in the three inch. So, uh, you know, their laces always last, all of this, uh, you know, all of their trimmings that they use on them always last. I've never, ever had a problem. Keen runs wide. I love that about Keen. They are so good about really making a shoe comfortable. So, like I said, I, I do sell this to a lot of uh, guys that work but don't want the safety toe it's got lots of flexibility you know if you're bending down working on you know projects and construction and stuff it's a great boot for that and of course it's a great hiking boot uh, it also has here on the inside it does have a really nice extra roomy gusset in here so that you, if you've got a wide foot you can just open up these laces and really give yourself some room so I, I really like this boot. And they usually have it in stock. I'm really glad about that. Okay, and it was a 140. That's a pretty much ballpark for what I offer it for. All right, so I just got this shoe. This is the Men's Voyager, and I really, really like it. This I got because, because I use, I sell this one so much, I decided to buy this one. Again, very lightweight, uh, pretty new. They're offering, uh, if you do the Prime Wardrobe, you guys get a free try-on. You know, of course you can't wear it outside in the comfort of your own home, but it's a great way to test out a boot. Um, so very, very nice. I like the weight of it. And again, they're offering it, um, it does have, I see leather on it for sure, but they're not really talking 100% leather. There we go. And then it's got a little bit of nylon on there. It is waterproof. We gotta have waterproof, right? 
super, super important. Let me make sure it's waterproof. Um, you know what? Actually, it doesn't say waterproof on it. Um, and I don't see their little waterproof tag. Maybe that's why it's extra light. So, you know, I'll advise my customers of that for sure. All right, let's keep moving. They do a lot of work boots that aren't waterproof. Keen is notorious for that. All right, so here's another one. This is a pretty hefty boot. This, we're seeing it in a size 13 right now. Uh, this is the Detroit, and this is in the low. It has a safety toe. It is leather. Um, it's got a little bit of nylon. This is waterproof. This is that Keen Dry. You can always see their label, and that's how you know. Um, it's this is a heavy boot. Uh, it doesn't say how much it weighs, but it does meet all of the safety requirements uh, needed for electrical. And um, you know, it's a good boot. I think it's oil and it's non-marking, oil and slip resistant. So non-marking's nice, especially for you guys working inside people's homes, building, doing new build outs and things like that. You don't wanna mark up their floors. Heavy boot, heavy boot, but it's, I'd say it's very durable. So that's always a plus. All right, here's another one. This is the Men's Mount Vernon. And here we go. This is the Mount Vernon. Look at that really nice wide toe box. This is the 12 that we're looking at. It's got a, this is the, it's got the same insole in here. So it's got some support, some comfort. I always say switch it up and get yourself a power step, right? All leather, this is totally treatable with the leather lotion. Um, you could use the Neats foot oil on it. It has, uh, this is a non-marking slip resistant outsole on it. So that's kind of nice. Um, it's kind of a deep lug though, I would say. Um, uh, boy, this is that really thick full grain leather. This is what Danner likes to do on their heavy duty boots. So this is a heavy duty boot. Um, this is actually lighter than this last one I just had in my hand here. It feels like it's lighter. So uh, to, I get a lot of guys that are looking for toe protection because they just, they're either down working with their feet bent like this and that's the first spot that they wear out. So um, anyway, this is great for that. The Mount Vernon, I like it and it's a reasonable price as well. It's, I offer it under $200. All right, uh, next, this is the Keens Romeo. We talked about that and I really like it because it's stylish. You know, my, fi my fiance wears it. It's offered in wides. It is not waterproof, but it does have the safety toe, full grain leather, um, lasts a really long time. Uh, my fiance has put them through the works and they have never come unglued in, you know, rain, all of that kind of good stuff. So. Um, got, it has a really nice lug heel and it's super lightweight, plus it's good looking, all right? I mean, this with a pair of jeans and my cute guy wearing them, they're hot. So I really like them. I think it's a great alternative, especially for people that are in and out of their shoes throughout the day. I get a lot of that construction workers that are working on the flooring and stuff like that and they have to remove their shoes. So great alternative for that. I like it. Not waterproof. Runs wide though, we like that. Okay, yay, this is another really hot one and I brought it in because my customers asked me so much for it. So I'm glad I did. It's a um, very heavy duty, this is called the, um, this is actually the Philadelphia and it is it has all the toe protection. I mean, it's a heavy duty boot as you can tell but it's got lots of room, really nice wide uh, calf, and it's got a very wide foot here, which is great. This uh, is safety, um, it meets all the safety requirements for electrical hazard, which is great. And um, it comes with, and actually this one's even, um, it even goes for Canada. There's something about that logo I remember someone telling me that it, it even meets this Canadian standard. Oh, and look at that. The toes have been stitched down. Can you see that? I mean, that's not an easy thing to do. It takes this big machine that you guys see in the backdrop of my store sometimes. And 
It's got a nice, good rubberized heel protection on the back there. I mean, it's fully rubberized all the way to here. So, you know, you really can beat the shoe up. I see this as being something like for a road crew, you know, um, they're on hot uh, road works, you know, things like that. The utilities, public utilities, things like that. Great. Um, so nice, nice boot there. That could also be treated with a, you could clean it, maybe put the leather conditioner on it. And you could also get a power step, you know, beef it up with a nice power step. Okay, and socks. I'm sure I brought socks to show you guys. Um, Keen, I don't see them, but Keen offers a great assortment of socks and they're not inexpensive. <laughs> so they're looking at about $30 a pair. My Danner socks are about $20 a pair, but you know, they're meant to last. They give you support. They're usually supportive around your arch or in your instep. And you can get this one, I'm showing it in the three quarter, but you can also get it in the over the calf. So, you know, a pair of really good merino wool, that's what all the good providers are using. Whoa, whoa, it's, we're moving out of time. So there's the boot and shoe leather lotion. Gotta love it, it works super fantastic. Prices have gone up. So expect to pay a little bit more in the future. My Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner, you can clean every single thing that I've shown you today with this cleaner. And you can also use a cream polish on most everything that I've shown you. The only one I wouldn't would be something like this with this kind of hair on uh, hide, okay? And of course, some nice stain wax. Wax is always good. It allows the, um, like I would probably use a wax on something like this just to help let keep the water from, you know, ruining your shoes, even though it's not, this boot's not waterproof. Okay, so like I said, next week we are doing Mary Kay. We'll be talking about some of the skincare, the new products that they've got coming out and what I've been using. And uh, that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me today on Aloha Friday. Thanks for joining me. I will see you guys again next week and Aloha.